What's up guys, Universal Mastery. So what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences to an extremely practical level so that you can use them in your day-to-day -day life and you can get real actual results so that it benefits you in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, so what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video is a continuation of the archetypal series. So the archetype that we're gonna be talking about in today's video is going to be the archetype of the devil. So if you wanna know a little bit more about the devil, in terms of the archetype and in ter terms of the attributions and the tarot card, then definitely stay tuned for the rest of this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is definitely make sure you go and check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have exclusive content. So half of that content is going to be geared towards actual practices where you get your hands and feet wet with real meditations and once again, real practices that are going to help you get more in touch with the spirit realm. For example, I have a step-by-step -step breakdown video. I actually have a couple step-by-step -step breakdown videos, but one specific step-by-step -step breakdown video of me actually doing an invocation so that you know exactly what you need and you know exactly how to do that. So that's going to be on my Patreon. Then the other half of the videos that are going to be on my Patreon are going to be educational entertainment. So it's going to be something very similar to a video like this where, you know, it's entertaining, but you're also getting a lot of value out of it. So definitely make sure you go and check that out. Where you're going to be able to find the Patreon is when you go to the description, you're going to see it at the very first link at the top. It literally says my Patreon right next to that link. So you'll see it right there. You'll click that link and then you can request to be a tier. Um, I have tier one all the way up to tier four. In order to gain access to the exclusive content, you have to at least be a tier two member or up. So in order to be a tier two, it literally costs $9.95 a month and that's a reoccurring payment. But if you do the math, that's literally less than a dollar a day and there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that with the value that I have on my Patreon. Okay, and right now specifically what I'm doing on the Patreon is I'm breaking down the different spheres on the Tree of Life and I talk about the Tree of Life so that you so that you have an understanding of what it is and that's where I'm literally getting all of these different archetypes from. I'm pulling it from the Tree of Life. You know, these are different pathways on the Tree of Life. So if you are taking the occult serious and if you're taking your occult practices serious, then one thing that you need to do is you need to study the Tree of Life. So I would highly recommend that you start joining the Patreon right now because I'm breaking down the different spheres on the tree, you know, in terms of their tributations, in terms of, you know, what their influences are, what it's like with my own experience from traveling down those spheres myself. So once again, that's where you're going to be able to find the link. It's going to be the first link at the top of the description. Um, and then as you go up in tiers, the benefits go up as well. I'm going to let you check that out for yourself. And I want to give a special shout out to the top tier members already. Their names are going to be mentioned in the parentheses below that my Patreon link. Okay. Other than that, going right into this video, guys, here we go. So path 15, okay, so this is the path of gravity, the way of practicality. Okay, so the qualities that you're going to feel, oh, and one, one thing first, if you are new to this archetypal series, if you just were stumbling across on YouTube, you came across this video, start at the Joker. Start at the archetype of the Joker, it literally in parentheses, it says start here, it says path zero, tarot path zero, work your way up from the Joker, from path zero all the way up to 21 okay so start there work your way up trust me you want to do that i break down the foundation once again of where i'm getting these archetypes from and that's important to understand okay so there we go okay so the qualities that you're going to feel when you start to travel down this pathway is practicality order conservatism uh being stuck tradition status quo career ambition Discipline, success, humor, fear, temptation, and being grounded. Okay, it's a lot of balance right there. A lot of some things were, you know, were positive, and other things were negative um, from those qualities. Okay, so the description: this path connects beauty and splendor. So this path is going to connect the middle sphere of the tree, Tifereth, down to Hode. 
which is going to be splendor. So it's going to be that pathway that's right between those two spheres, meshing them together. And that's where this archetype of the devil is coming from. Okay, so here we go. So this path connects beauty and splendor. It demands the practical implementation of a person's earthly talents and determined toil. This path offers success, but the price is patience, persistence, and an element of faith. The seeker needs to balance the restrictions of the left column with the beauty of the heart. Sincerity in word and deed is paramount. Splendor provides all the information we need, but facts and figures often mislead and deceive. Connecting to the heart ensures that the message is true. Avoid lies and uh, ex excuse me, avoid lies and the tendency towards self-absorption. Use your talents in service of others. Reach outwards. Okay, so the affirmation is going to be, I can achieve all my ambitions. Success is already in the palm of my hand. I am proof that discipline, persistence, and endurance can manifest dreams. The psalm is, I have done justice and righteousness. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Okay, and the astrological aspect is going to be Capricorn. Okay, and obviously the tarot card is going to be the devil. So the devil symbolizes our own personal underworld, the seat of the subconscious and the issues we never want to face. The devil is the force that pulls us downward, forcing us to dig deeper. It is not evil, but merely a call to practicality. Okay, I want to say that one more time because this is something very important to understand. The devil is the force that pulls us downward, forcing us to dig deeper. It is not evil, but merely a call to practicality. Okay, so the challenges, fear, panic, suffering, and abuse of others, too earthly, selfish, and cynical. The Hebrew letter is going to be Ain, which means I. There is always more than what meets the eye. The inner eye can see beyond the physical form. Okay? So, yeah, so that's, you know, that's pretty explanatory. Um, so, so to give you a little bit of my experience when I was working down this pathway, I definitely, you know, during this time I was working at Equinox. So this was all in the year 2019 and for that first half, full half of the year for that first pretty much six months of that year, I was working at Equinox. So I had a lot of experiences. I had at least, um, what was it? I had like four spheres that I initiated through and that I went through during my experience at Equinox. And uh, yeah, I remember that, you know, I was, you know, I was a trainer. I was a personal trainer there. And specifically when it comes to, you know, the, the um, you know, coming from a place of the heart as a trainer, um, that's what I was aiming for. But my, one of the, one of the, um, one of my managers, the lady who hired me, she was all about numbers. She was all about status quo. She was all about, you know, you got to get your numbers right. You know, make sure you're getting enough sessions in, make sure, you know, it was all about money and numbers for her. And it was, it was very interesting because, you know, I was being influenced heavily by my environment around me to be, you know, to be aligned with all the numbers and to hit all the numbers and to make sure the numbers are right. But on the inside, in my, from my perspective, I wasn't viewing it from the number standpoint. Yes, I want to hit the numbers. I want to balance it for sure. But I was coming more so from like, how can I help? How can I, you know, who can I train that needs me, that needs me as their trainer, that needs me as help? How can I best help somebody if I, you know, if I had to go over a little, you know, a little extra to get to know the person and to, to, you know, help them as best as I can, then I would have done that rather than be like, oh, the time's up on to the next one. Um, just to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm helping them because that, you know, that's going to re that's going to reap reward later down the road anyways. So let me, let me just read back over the notes real quick, just to make sure. So practicality, order, conservatism, being stuck, tradition, status quo, career, ambition, discipline, success, humor, fear, temptation, being grounded. So yeah, so all of these things, you know, I was experiencing all of these things, uh, you know, once again, as a trainer, um, you know, I was, I was, I was in the gym and I, I would stand around and I would look, you know, I would, I would observe the gym. I would clean it when, you know, when people would, 
you know, they'd put weights on a machine and they would take weights off and if they left the weights on, I would go and I'd take them off and then I would go and I'd, I would have conversations with specific people because I would be watching to see who, you know, who's, who's working out that's actually, that's not, that doesn't know what they're doing so that I can go up and I can help them because um, I would recognize that some people would be working out and their form was way off and it, they were actually doing more damage than good. Um, so I would go and I would approach and yes, there was a little bit of it, you know, a little bit of that like anxiety and fear in me to want to go up to somebody and say, hey, look, you know, this is one of my favorite exercises. I'm glad you're doing it. Do you mind if I show you another way to do it? Um, so it was a little, you know, there was a little bit of fear in me to go up to some people um, and you know that that fear I'm sure stems from rejection, but that's you know, it's a part of life and you just got to push through it with discipline um, Which is funny because I literally just made a video about this the other day on my Instagram, but Yeah, so I would push through it. I would be disciplined. I would go up anyways Regardless if I'm gonna get rejected. Oh, no, I'm good. I don't want to know what you what you're gonna show me Okay, that's fine. You know, I just wanted to just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Jeremiah If you need anything, let me know um, so that was that and I would go up to people and, and sure enough, that's how I got, um, that's how I got one of my, one of my clients. I just went up and I, I said, Hey, you know, this is, you know, this is one of my favorite exercises. I recommend that you do it this way. And the guy listened to me and, you know, I went about my, you know, I went on my way. I went, I, I, you know, I walked away. I did my thing. And then he ended up coming up to me after and he's like, Hey, can you, can you train me? Can you literally train me like right now? He said that. And I was like, uh, I, I need to, you know, I, I would like to be able to sit down with you first and figure out what your goals are, figure out what your, you know, what's going on with your movement patterns and things of that nature. And he's like, if you can train me right now, I will train with you. If you can't, I'm not going to train with you. And I was like, okay. So I put something together for him and we trained. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get, since it's the, it's the archetype of the devil, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna start, you're gonna understand <sighs> from the archetype of the devil, you, you, you really want to understand that, you know, what, what I said towards the end, um, towards the end of, of, uh, of the tarot description of the devil card is the fact that the devil isn't, once again, it's not evil. It's not bad. It, it takes you, it, it actually it it introduces you to certain foreign energies that you're not used to most of the time those energies are negative most of the time it's a chaotic um, it's a chaotic type of energy and because we're not used to that we like to call it bad and we like to call it evil because it makes us feel uncomfortable but if you can get attuned to that if you can get more used to that devil-like influence that that energy that you're not used to that if you can get used to being uncomfortable then that's when you truly become a master of your reality because it what it does is it stimulates areas in your subconscious mind in your unconscious mind as well and it brings them to your conscious awareness so that there's so that you essentially what's going on when that happens is you are becoming more aware because your unconscious and your subconscious are dark. It's the areas of your mind that you don't necessarily control. They have more control over you. But when you get placed into situations where you feel out of control and you you integrate that, you know, you integrate that experience by just simply being there and just experiencing it and trying to understand it, literally that's all it takes. Just trying to understand what is this? What is this really? Why are people acting like this? What's going on here? How can I, you know, how can I survive in this situation to my best ability? That integrates it within yourself. And then it brings more of those subconscious hidden aspects of the self and unconscious hidden aspects of the self. It brings them to the, once again, the conscious mind. So then you can break them down. You can make sense out of it and you can bring order and structure to your own mindset. And you feel more comfortable because um, because you you now have just essentially mastered something or overcame something that you once kind of feared and, and didn't understand and and it was in the dark but now it's it's brought to the surface which is the light um, so yeah so that's that's the that's the art of the devil as the devil places you in situations that are extremely uncomfortable and does things to your psyche and does things to your mind that makes you feel uncomfortable like it's not normal for you but in that state of uncomfortable and in that state of unnormal or not normal for you that's where you have full opportunity to grow because if you can overcome that if you can master that then think about how 
how powerful you're going to be, how smart you're going to be, how wise you're going to be, how understanding you're going to be, how knowledgeable you're going to be when those, um, when those, you could say those restrictions are, are broken, when those chains are broken, when, 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 when you step into your power fully, you're going to be, you're going to be a much more well-rounded, powerful person because you've been through those challenges, whether that's mentally and physically, you know, it's, it's going to be both. It's going to be a mental and a physical challenge as within, as without, as above, so below. So, you know, once again, when you start working with devil types of like devilish types of energies, especially this archetype, it's going to show you the value in that negative chaotic type of energy and that it's really just a balance you know you have positive and you have negative you need both to create power so many people just want to stay on one side and that's not going to serve them because they're not going to experience the other side and if you only stay on one side you're going to eventually shoot to the other side and if you're fighting to stay on this side What's going to happen is you're going to be fighting and you're going to switch and it's just, it's not going to integrate properly because you're not letting it, the experience do what it needs to do because you're fighting it in your mind. You're like, no, this can't be, this is bad. This is wrong. And that's going to create, that's going to create extra problems for you. And you don't want to do that. So other than that, I think I shared enough on this video. I definitely, you know, I definitely like what I put out there. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button right down there. Hit that like button. It definitely helps out my channel and I appreciate it. Then come down here, hit the subscribe button. Okay, subscribe to my channel. Then right next to that, hit the bell. Okay, the bell will notify you every time I post a video. And trust me, you want to know when I post videos because I post videos often. I'm sure there will be a time where I post a video and it's exactly what you need to hear because that's what I do. Okay, trust me, it happens all the time. Um, and then other than that, remember, go and check out my Patreon. You're going to go to the description. You're going to see that first link at the top. That's my Patreon. Check it out. Then go to the second link below. It's going to take you to the Streamlabs merch page where you can place an order for a Hecate Sigil shirt. And they will literally ship it right to your door wherever you are, just like Amazon Prime. And I'm literally going to be getting rid of the Streamlabs merch uh, page very soon here. So I'm going to be switching it to a new page. Um, so definitely make sure you check that out. Then go to the third link below. It's going to take you to the Facebook community. Go ahead and join that Facebook community. Check it out. And then when you get there as well, there's also going to be a pin post for a private group in that Facebook community. So click that request to join the private group and I will add you in. What I do on there is I post extra content in the form of written and in the form of like pictorial quotes. So definitely make sure you check that out. And other than that, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are, guys and gals. All right. And I will see you on the next video for path number 16. Peace.